Okay, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to create um, more advanced key signatures in Finale. So I stumbled upon this quite famous uh, Bartok composition from his Microcosmos. And as you can see, the key signature, um, not only are there two different ones happening at the same time, they're rather unusual. Here you only have one E flat, and here you have an F sharp and a G sharp. Um, so, as it turns out, to you can do this in Finale, but it does require uh, some steps. So I'm going to show you how to create those two. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Key Signature tool, and I'm going to go ahead and double-click on a measure. And where it says Major Key, Minor Key, Key Less, we're going to choose Non-Standard. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move to... Um, where it says linear key format, we're going to press the number next, pre press the, the button next twice, and once you get to the second one, you'll be able to edit, to, uh, you'll have access to all these different options. So we're going to click on accidental order, and uh, so here's where it gets a little bit confusing. The unit is essentially the accidental, so there are seven units which have a positive that are positive, and those are the seven sharps, and then there are seven uh, units with a negative number, and those are obviously flat. So this is the standard order. So for instance, right now you have unit one, which is F sharp for the key of G, and the step level, that is the diatonic step, where zero is C, and so one is D, two is E, and three is F. So you basically, uh, oh, elastic, and the amount is how much this particular note, in this case F, is changed, and how. So in this case, this means uh, the first unit one is an F, and it's sharp. Um, so let's, uh, so what we want to do is actually go to the previous one, which is on the flat side, and we're going to create uh, an E, instead of having this be a, a, a B flat, we're going to change it to an E flat. So that would be a three, sorry, C, D, zero, one, two, two actually, because zero is a C, and one is a D, and three is an E, and we'll put minus one. So what's going to happen now when I click OK is as I go down to my flat side it'll go down to E flat instead of B flat so it's really as simple as that we're also going to go ahead and create um, one for the key that has an F sharp and a G sharp so for that we're going to go to the sharp side so we're going to go actually here this is where unit one is this is one we modified we're going to stay right here um, and we're going to change this, we're going to keep it an F actually, because it's fine as an F sharp. And then we're going to go to the next, which is unit two, and we're going to change this from a C to a G. So instead of this being a zero, it's going to have to be a four. So we're going to change that to a four. And now watch what happens when I go here to my sharp keys, I get an F sharp, and then I add another one, and I have a G sharp. Now there's only one last thing we need to do here, which is to change the octave placement of these two. And to do that, we'll go to accidental octave. And the unit in question are unit one, which is the F sharp, and unit two, which is the G sharp. So we're going to change where it says octave. We're going to change that to a zero. And as you can see, it just jumps down. And then for the next unit, we're going to change that to a zero as well. And there you go. So now I have in addition to all those standard key signatures, I have a new set of key signatures, uh, which I don't I don't need to have a whole new set except those two. So, but I could add more as many as I want. Um, so I have E flat key signature and double sharp. So we can go ahead and add that there. Boom, here it is. All right. Hope you enjoyed it.